<laughs> Get her away from me. We find the world's pickiest eaters, transform the foods they hate with three incredible dishes, then teach them how to make it. That smells so good. This is the Picky Eater Challenge. What's up, y'all? I'm Chef Yadi, AKA Happy Healthy Latina, AKA The People Chef. And today we have a super special victim named John who got set up by his girlfriend, Tam. You know sometimes when you're living with your boo, you find out certain things like they just will not eat. He's really, really, really dramatic. He never liked vegetables when he first met me. He's, he's also very stubborn. We found out that John hates him some cauliflower. I can't stand cauliflower. Oh, what's that, if that wrestlers get cauliflower here? And you eating cauliflower after the name of a cauliflower, that's disgusting. Why the f would you eat some sh I mean, some stuff like that, I'm sorry. I love cauliflower, but people have really strong opinions about it. Cauliflower can be anything that you need it to be. I think like Bob Ross, it's like a cute little canvas you can work with because it's bland, y'all. So we gotta bring the flavor to it. Let's do it. The setup is John and Tam are gonna be led in by our producers. Come to set thinking they're gonna have a regular meal. Do you think you can tell the difference between food that was made in a restaurant versus homemade food? The goal here is to get John to do a 180 when it comes to cauliflower and actually cook it for himself. How do you feel about foods like, like cauliflower? I don't like it. Time to play with Chef Yachty. He seems so terrified. It was like, rear, 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 rear. oh my God, look at the whole <laughs> I feel like she's always playing tricks on me, man. <laughs> Welcome, John and Tam. What do you think about your, your digs, your new digs? I want to burn it down. I definitely have a big challenge ahead of me. I thought he was going to run off camera. But come on back, John, because we're about to reel you in with some Kali surprises. This is my intervention. Tam and I are here to be the winds beneath your wings, your Kali wings, OK? Garçon, Garik. The first thing I need to do is see how much John actually hates cauliflower. Come on, brother, brother, <laughs> come, brother, 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 come on, brother. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we got you a nice raw piece of cauliflower. Is there any part of this that makes you want to like pet it, take oh. a little bite? Look how you just breaking it off. <laughs> so I see the look of it is yes. something that you don't like. I've seen it like kind of crumble too. So texture, taste. We're moving through some different culinary techniques right now. So this one is roasted. You're seeing a little bit of a different texture. If you eat just the burnt part, it'll be okay. Nope. Like no. It. How does this one look to you? It don't look good. It don't look appetizing. <gasps> it's pickled. What if we all went for a little baby piece? All right. Okay. Oh, God. What the hell is that? This one is blended cauliflower. Hell no. And we still haven't gotten one that you would want to try. Let's talk about what you guys do like to eat. Vietnamese food, Chinese food. I love swine. I love pig. So you like salty, you like savory, you like strong flavors. Mm -hmm. He likes his, you know, fast food, American food. I think he needs some help exploring the other food groups. It's just unhealthy. I'm trying to eat healthier, that's why. You're trying yes. to get better as a couple. Yes, yes. ma'am. So now I'm about to give it the people chef, Chef Yadi spin and I'm about to take you to Flavor Town. Okay, see y'all in a few. Your boy John is here to give Chef Yadi a struggle. He does not like the texture, the smell, the taste, basically everything about the cauliflower. I need to grow a new vegetable. So I'm about to give John three different dishes in three different ways. I need to bring everything I have to this challenge. For the mashed potatoes, I'm hoping to take John straight back into his childhood classics. He said he loves and he misses American food and comfort food. We're gonna deconstruct the cauliflower. I'm going to need to break it down, so I'm gonna bring it into a food processor, take that liquid out, and then I'm going to need to emulsify it and not let it get too gummy, and to still maintain the integrity of the mashed potatoes. Yes, mash has a lot of morals. So we want it not to be a soup, not to be a puree. We want it to be a mash. Those are three different culinary terms. We're showing cauliflower can be good old comfort food. What are you smelling? What are you seeing? I see mashed potatoes and grits. Okay. With okay. butter floating around, just sitting in there. All right, let me see. All right. How is it taste? It's not bad. It definitely looks and smells a lot better than it than it tastes. I think it's just a cauliflower, man. It had the look, once you eat a little bit of it, you can tell that it's not potatoes. Okay, okay, but you tasted a little more than you've yeah. ever tasted. I'm gonna taste it. Yeah, oh. please. 
Oh, it's good. If I'm gonna get John to cook with cauliflower, I'm gonna need to really wow him on the next two dishes. Ca can we have a palate cleanser? What is this? Blueberries, strawberries, honey. Really? Because this is not the only thing that we're gonna taste. What? No! Sushi rice is its own salad rice. It's a short grain, sticky rice, and we're working with basically a waterlogged vegetable. I'm gonna have to squeeze out all that extra liquid, and then I'm gonna have to reincorporate the vinegary, sweet flavor that sushi rice traditionally has. So I'm gonna be making its own little marinade, and then you've got your crispiness from that taco. And it's gonna be all wrapped in there like a yummy little bebe. But I can't overcook it, or else it won't hold its structure. You've got nicely seasoned fish that is going to have a little bit of spice and kick to it. I really want him to see the sushi rice and the whiteness of it, really feel the flavor as he bites into it, that it tastes like sushi. Oh my God. That looks so good. And I gave it the same treatment as sushi rice. Oh, this same. don't, this don't even, where's the cauliflower? For this one, you put your hands out. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> you know I mean? somebody get him a napkin. <laughs> God. That's good. Did you taste the cauliflower at all? All I tasted was delicious, deliciousness. I'm finally starting to see John allow himself to think past the cauliflower. Did Chef Yadi do it for this one? I'm a sucker for sushi, man. <laughs> Collie gang, Collie gang, Collie gang. Nah, we ain't gonna say Collie gang, but. Arancini is kind of complex. My challenge is really, can I make this cauliflower like stick, but not mushy? Because a lot of people think cauliflower is mushy when you rice it. Can I get that sear on it by bringing it into the oven or by frying it? When he has the arancini ball, he's about to get blown back into another galaxy of flavor because he is going to experience creaminess, cheesiness, smokiness, crunchiness. He's not even gonna have time to register, whereas the cauliflower is everywhere. I'm not just putting this cauliflower in the pressure cooker, I'm putting myself in the pressure cooker because these balls need to work. If they fall apart in my hands, I will cry. I don't want to drop the ball, my people. I present to you arancini balls. Have you heard about arancini before? Not until balls. now. Let's try it out. How do you like it? You Please. don't get to try it this time. <laughs> mm, go ahead. <laughs> Stop doing that. I, I really want to taste it. Where do you think the color cauliflower is? I think it's in the trash, because this ain't cauliflower. <laughs> it's the entire ball. It's no. only It's only coated in no. panko. The entire what? thing is cauliflower. Seriously? Cauliflower, That's cauliflower, amazing. cauliflower. Oh, man. Is it possible to say that you like what you've experienced today? I don't like cauliflower, but I like Chef Yadi's cauliflower. Well, this all comes with the grand prize of you get to cook it. Oh! I gotta cook for real. You're gonna learn to cook this dish and you're gonna get in the kitchen with Chef Yadi. I'm gonna be there as a coach, but that's gonna be all you, boo. One final cheers. Cauliflower shooters. Told you! I knew it. <laughs> He's washing down cauliflower with cauliflower. You learned. Sorry, I had to do it to you. you it tastes like applesauce, man. The taste testing couldn't have gone better, but for me, I'm looking to really impart a skill on John and Tam that they can do it for themselves. I just don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, cause, I mean, the way she presented it was like with so many different types of flavors and putting her little, little spin on it. I want John to feel confident, not just in being able to make it, but I want him to be amped about cauliflower and telling people like, you don't even know what cauliflower could be. Okay, John, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create some flavor by roasting some garlic. We're about to make a rain, we'll some, make it rain. we're gonna make it rain some oil on here. Okay, John, it's your nemesis slash BFF cauliflower. We are gonna make this into rice right here. Oh, you touching the cauliflower, John. Uh, Brave man over, over here. Let's get it over with. Okay. okay, that's about the consistency we're looking for. Oh, now the smell is getting to it. It has a lot of water inside of it. Wrap it up like a cute little baby. Squeeze! I can taste the smell. <laughs> That is what you didn't like about cauliflower. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is release the cauliflower. We're about to make us some shiitake bacon. Just gonna go butter, mushrooms, liquid smoke, soy sauce, sea salt. All right, look at that beautiful crisp and sear on them. So we're gonna get these mushrooms in the pan. Teamwork make the dream work. So we're gonna put in some peas. Now we're gonna fly in some cheese and then you're gonna incorporate all that by giving it a nice mix. Oh yeah. We're just gonna make our risotto. We're going to put some butter in the pan, white wine, some garlic, all that nasty water we took out of our mm -hmm. cauliflower. We're gonna put this flavor back in there. Okay, all mm. right. Just get some regular Sauce. marinara. 
mix it all up. Now let's go ahead and let's put some cheese on it. That's our Parmesan. Now we want to go in with our mozzarella. It smells so good. Let's finish it with a little bit of salt. Gosh, Gorgeous. That is amazing. So let's mix our cauliflower rice and our mushroom and pea mix. That is the inside of our arancini balls. Can you so, believe it's cauliflower? I'm looking at it like I don't even, cauliflower yeah. doesn't even exist in this dish. <laughs> We're gonna put some smoked sweet paprika right into our Italian breadcrumbs. Take a nice big old scoop in there. Perfect. Tim's gonna hook us up with some egg wash and then we're gonna get it all up in our breadcrumbs. Remember how you thought they were fried earlier? Yes, yes They're I did. actually baked, you're finding out. Sorcery, man. And then we're gonna layer it with some pesto with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, shiitake bacon, and then you're gonna zest it with some lemon. Ooh! Wow, that looks good. <laughs> mm. It tastes oh. almost like yours. Almost, what you mean? I think it's right on point. You got the crispiness <laughs> and the crunchiness. Honestly, this probably might be the only way that she can ever get me to eat cauliflower. I think you did really, really well, and I'm very proud of you. I will cheers to that. Thank you for being game to try something you were totally afraid of. Thank you for showing me a a better way, a different path, because I would literally walk out of here today with the same the same stigma that cauliflower is disgusting. Can I be so bold as to say that today's picky eater intervention actually worked? You have to say it worked. It worked. It worked. Oh, I guess the little Yachty dance. You gonna do a dance? <laughs> do a dance. Do a dance. The champ is still here, undefeated. Every vegetable you send my way, I slay. I don't think there's one that could take me down. Chef Yachty 